Hello everybody, Elias5891 here with another Katane module tutorial. This time we are covering the Festive Piano Keys module. Uh, this one, very similar to the standard Piano Keys module, so if you know that one, this one's not going to be a far leap for you. Um, you'll see, uh, unlike standard Piano Keys, it is green, has uh, some mistletoe on the corners, and it has a couple new symbols on it uh, that the original Piano Keys and Cruel Piano Keys both do not. Um, so, let's actually start by going down the list here, over on the expert page. Uh, the required symbols, going down the line, we have the, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce this first one, the Kesura, I believe? Caesura? It's uh, C-A-E-S-U-R-A. So, Kesura, I think. Uh, then for the next one, we have a Segno and a 16th note. We have a mordant and a pedal lift. We have a up bow and a down bow. We have a martellado. Uh, I've also uh, believe that I was told from the creator that's also known as a. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I was given another name for it. I'm not 100% sure right off the top of my head what it was. I. Uh, in addition to calling it a martellado, uh, looks like marcato is also a name for it. Uh, we have a 16th rest and a 16th note. We have a whole note and a breve. We have a diminuendo, a martellado, and a up bow. And then the segno, the clef, and the caesura. So those are our new symbols for festive piano keys. Uh, we also have new songs. Uh, just like regular piano keys, these are all relevant. Uh, since it's festive, these are all Christmas tunes. Uh, I'm not going to go through and play all of them like I did for the original one. I, mainly because I don't know that that's terribly beneficial. Uh, we will kind of mark the ones we do, though, and I will tell you which ones at the end we haven't covered. So let's get to it. Uh, let's start with this bomb. Uh, for the first one, we have an up bow, a segno, and a mordant. So, no caesura, we have a segno. Any duplicate characters? Yes, we have two zeds. So we are going to do this tune, which uh, hopefully you will recognize. This tune turns out to be We Three Kings. It is uh, C sharp, B, A, F sharp, G sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp. There we go. Uh, let's look at the other one on this bomb. Uh, we have a mordant, a whole note, and an martellado. Uh, so, no, no, no. There's a mordant, but no. No, no. We have this. Uh, do we have a lit indicator with a vowel? Yes, IND is a lit indicator with a vowel, so we're going to play this tune. Uh, what tune is this? This would be... All I want for Christmas is you. Let's see if I can get the rhythm of this. That one's tricky for me to play for some reason. I think because I'm just I don't do so well with the mouse on the uh, keyboard keys. Uh, but that's all I want for Christmas is you. Let's do a few more. See what other tunes we can hear in the correct notes. Here we have a down bow, a clef, and an up bow. So, no, 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 maybe, at most two types of horns. We only have one, it's a cereal. Haha, here's another new one. Uh, for this one, our song is going to be, let's play it. Last... Yeah, that one was last Christmas. Uh, for the other one here, we have an up bow, a pedal lift, and a caesura. Uh, caesura? Caesura. Caesura. Uh, uh, so top option. Uh, more even digits in the serial than odd. No, we only have one even and two odds. Uh, 
Didn't have either of those. Didn't have a mordant. Two types of forts, so we're going to do last Christmas again. That's fine. And, you know, like normal piano keys, since so much of this is based on edge work, you do tend to get just a few per bomb. Uh, let's do one more set, and then we'll cover the other songs. Uh, we have a 16th note, whole note, and diminuendo. So, no, here's a 16th. We have duplicates. Yes, we have two fives, so we're going to do three, three kings again. here we have a 16th rest an up bow and a clough no 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 yes lid indicator with a vowel yes that's bob uh, all i want for christmas is you again oh. whoops hit the wrong key uh like normal piano keys if you do strike like that not a big deal just start over Alright, so we've only got three unique ones. That happens sometimes. Um, oh, this one is a unique one, though, because we have the Caesura, and that's going to be our first rule, because we have two even numbers and no odd ones. Uh, so that's going to give us this first note sequence here. That is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Dun, 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 dun. So that was kind of convenient that that popped up. Um, nothing else kind of jumps out at me as being likely right this second. Uh, so let's look briefly at the other songs. Uh, from top to bottom, we've done Rudolph, we've done We Three Kings. Uh, this one. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Silent Night is how that one comes out to be. Let me uh, actually see if I can finish up. This should be duplicate characters. This will be We Three Kings. So, so let's, uh, the third song here, G-A-G-E, G-A-G-E, comes out to be roughly Silent Night. Um... Uh, we did uh, Last Christmas, we did All I Want for Christmas is You. This one, uh, I'm not sure if this one's going to work because of the D notes, but it comes out to be, uh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, that's not going to sound right because I have to go down to hit the D and the E. That's okay. Uh, the one below that is Frosty Snowman, same thing. We're kind of crossing into some CD territory here, so that one's not going to quite sound right. Uh, this one with all the G's at the beginning. Jingle Bells, obviously. Uh, this one I think will come out okay. Eh, sort of. Uh, Jingle Bell Rock is that one. Uh, and the last one... Come on, mouse. There we go. Uh, that's uh, Carol of the Bells, repeated uh, ad nauseum. Uh, I would like to note that on that last one there, uh, the rule is just those four notes, but you play them X times where X is equal to the largest number in your serial plus one. So that could be anywhere from one time, if all you have is zeros, to ten times, if you have a nine, like I do this case. Um, I would like to mention that since this module does, you know, when it's done, it doesn't strike you anymore. You can't strike after you've solved it, because you just can't play the piano. I usually just say, oh, it's Carol of the Bells, it's B flat A, B flat G, repeat until you're done. Because, you know, it's going to tell them when they're done, then... You know, you can move on. Uh, so let's uh, let's do the last one here on this particular bomb. Uh, 
This one I think should actually be the Jingle Bell Rocks. So we might get to hear it. Yep, we got to hear that one right. Awesome. All right, let's blank the screen. Blank, blank, blank. Uh, let's get the instructions back up here, though. All right, uh, let me give you a pair of them to do real quick, um, and we'll see which songs you get, which notes uh, correspond. Uh, we have, edge work wise, we have one battery, one holder. Uh, lit Bob, Lit Car. Uh, PS2, RJ, DVI. Uh, XS2 ED4. Uh, okay, my two uh, groups, my two pianos. Uh, the first one has Mordant, Diminuendo, Whole Note. My second one has Caesura, 16th Note, Segno. Uh, so the first one is uh, Mordant, Squiggly Line, Diminuendo, which is a greater than sign, Whole Note, which is just a circle. My other one is Caesura, the double slash, the 16th note, the note with the two flags, and the seg note, the S with a dot and a line. So figure out which note sequences we're going to need for these two. Uh, pause if you need a little more time. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get this back on screen. We'll so finish it up, solve it up. Uh, well, this one is the easier one. Uh, it has the Caesura. Uh, we do have more even digits than odd, two evens, no odds, which means that's going to be my first song, Rudolph, E flat F, E flat C, A flat, F E flat. Up here, a uh, little more difficult, uh, no Caesura, no Segno, no 16th, uh, Mordant, but no pedal lift, no up bow, no down bow. No uh, martellato, um, no 16th rest, 16th note, uh, no breathe to go with the whole note, diminuendo, does serial contain 1 or 9? No. Is there a segno or a clef or a caesura? No. So we actually do hit the bottom this time with Carol of the Bells. So B flat A, B flat G, repeat until solved. One. It should be five times because the biggest serial numbers are four. Three. Four, five. Glad we got to finish on that one. Uh, so that's uh, that would be Festa Piano Keys. Also, as a side note, this is my favorite combination of three symbols. Uh, but anyway, no, that's the end. Of, uh, that wraps up this one. That's how you do Festa Piano Keys. It's it's very piano key basic. It's just like the regular piano keys, but with festive songs and a festive color scheme. Uh, but that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, as always, leave them down below. Thank you very much. And until next time, guys, been Elias. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun. Have a great day. Don't explode. Bye.